Hello, everybody, and welcome to Audio Talaya Extra, the show that nobody asked for it, but we are doing it anyway. And as you know, today um, the show, as you can hear, it's uh, going to be fully in English. Um, at least uh, in the, um, uh, these guys are around. Uh, as soon as they leave, I will start speaking in Catalan and, of course, ranting about them. Um, so, um, I love that style. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, Joan, you can understand. So here am I with uh, with Joan, uh, Joan Codros, with Tiago Tobias, Ludwig Benkel and Arzus Aglam. Uh, they are a um, song collective, as they name themselves, and they are called Warren. And it's um, a project that was born uh, back in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as as a result of you guys meeting on the Audio, Audio Talaya Summer Camp. Um, and since then, you have been working um, in various projects or processes that somehow started there. And uh, today, we're going to talk about how you do it, what you have been doing, and, and, and what's been all around. So if you guys uh, don't know them, uh, we're going to share some links, um, um, and we're going to show, and we're going to listen to some of their their stuff. But basically, the, the the initial premise is that these four artists are are uh, are pulling, uh, making happen a project that uh, is completely remote because it's Berlin, Brussels, Porto, I guess, and Barcelona. So, and you have met just twice. Is that is that right? <laughs> Physically, uh, yeah, yes, one. yes. No, I mean, no, well, physically, Odio Talaya, Odio Talaya and, 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 and then Talaya. one, once more, okay, once more. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a uh, it's an amazing project because they they started to do the pandemic shit before pandemic, so <laughs> 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 they are pioneers on that. <laughs> we we volunteered, we volunteered. Exactly, they, they were like <laughs> guinea pigs. You knew something before, right? Okay. Anyway, so uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't have a specific question because, as you know, this show uh, it's l fully improvised. I know you have a script and you're gonna um, read it from there. Everything I asked you, <laughs> yes. but I don't know. Maybe the first question, and it's an open question. Um, so whoever wants starts talking. Is um, what happened in in summer camp 2019 that? Um, um, move you to to start um, a project like that or to continue what you started doing there Ta. Mm. Uh, okay we agreed that i will answer any kind of qu question coming first <laughs> so we don't have any awkward silences <laughs> but i'm happy that this is actually the first question because uh like i think what happened is click and that's actually all that i think there was really just a click and then uh yeah and then it was just about keeping it up and i guess it has like like waves sort of like um some periods or over this last two and a half years now soon um have we had some silences of like a few months or weeks and then hmm. sometimes we would like start working again intensely on things but it's just about like having this not like notion of like yeah these are for me at least it was like these are guys i want to keep on working with uh, I love what they're doing. I love the way they're thinking and it's accessible and collaboration is just fun, basically. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what happened for me. Back back then in, in, in the camp and yep. uh, and then you decided, OK, let's do this because there is something called the Internet and <laughs> we, yeah, yeah. we, we can manage. But at mm -hmm. the same time, the, the question is like um, um, because people who know summer camp, it's, it's a pretty intense um uh, residency or whatever you want to call it and and it's pretty physical and and direct so i guess that that ha you had to re reinvent wh whatever you invented back there and and reshape it in 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 new processes right yeah i mean generally i think our aspirations is always to find a physical common ground you know to come together and work but it's just like due to the circumstances we try to keep the ball in the air with doing remote works as well but i think um generally the tendency is always to try to find the next thing we can do together for example like physically together hmm. um but then like i don't know these remote uh works also work very fine and they kind of go a bit like i guess stretched in time and space so there's like even Though we're not physically in the same one, we are on a like a stretched level. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. we give and each other. Oh, sorry. 
Dime. No, 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 go on, go on. No, maybe I've said enough, you say. <laughs> no, 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 go. not at all. Uh, um, sorry, yes, I, I lost my train of thought. Wait a second. Well, I have, an, I have a curiosity there too. It's just the name of uh, the name of the collective is an homage to the philosophy of a great man <laughs> called Edu <laughs> in in summer camp, where he, he used to 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 say to us always uh, like narrow, narrow, narrow <laughs> in term in terms of not complicating things sometimes. Yeah. And I think that become kind of a private joke between between uh, between us and. So we decided as the name, it's narrow on backwards. So, so it's, it's not, something. it's not narrow. It's just so wide. It's not, <laughs> it's exactly. That's why it's also, also we that's why it's all caps. Yeah, we perfected. We can do wider and shorter too. Exactly. Yeah. The narrow thing just to, for listeners is because Obviously, summer camp is 10 days. You have to do collective projects and um, usually you don't have the physical time you normally do to develop a project unless um, to develop a project with a That's lot of cool. input. Um, so narrow, narrow, <laughs> narrow only answers to the fact that, for instance, by the end of the camp, for those who doesn't know, um, you have like 48 hours to set up a concert, uh, a sound installations yeah. or a performance. So. Um, whatever your ideas um, might be about what you could be doing, the time constraint of 48 hours is 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 the framework where you have to build your own thing. But because if you do, you try to go so far away, uh, too too far away, you you cannot reach the deadline, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and and of course because the collective. Uh, process and I'm, I'm, we're going to talk about that for sure. Um, it requires also that that kind of commitment to to being precise and and uh, and focalize your your target, I guess. And and I think it's, it's something that it might happen to you now, even after after the the your pass in the summer camp. Yeah, con I mean, constantly we, we sometimes actually use that, and not in a, in a joking way, but in really in a serious way sometimes. And because of the distance, sometimes we have to. Actually, I think we we kind of clicked since then, like Arzu said. And I, and the cool thing is that after two years, I guess uh, we still run kind of smoothly, and it's working fine. And we have nice chemistry. And but yeah, there are sometimes where because of the distance. And, and certain types of projects we try to do narrow actually applies very well and we kind of use it. I mean, it's a mm. great thing for a great, it's a great motto for life as well, but it kind of <laughs> works too. Yes, yeah. yes. Jesus Christ. Also, <laughs> no, what I wanted to say is that the, the war and also, um, so the, the physical aspect of meeting and so on is very nice because you get to collaborate and, you know, get stimulated, but also the internet. For me, it's the, it does the same thing, and 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 I like that that you know you are walking your life, you know you are doing your own thing, you are doing your own projects, but you always have a, a part of the brain that knows, ah, yeah, we are doing this thing, no? Mm -hmm. Like for yeah. example, a year ago or so, we did this project where we just recorded our our walk, no, from home yeah, to the, the daily uh, life, yeah. space, and and just from there we we got something, no? So this is just your regular walk. But suddenly you, you you give it a bit of a twist, no? Because you know, okay, we are recording it, and now and then, how are we going to relate to those things, no? And mm -hmm. those five minutes of work or whatever. So so it uh, yeah, it keeps you engaged in a in a with with different collaboration, yeah. But mm. well, um, just to I'm gonna get back a little bit. Um, maybe it's it's important to at this point, and this is gonna be a mess is, is to try to define is like if if you have to explain to somebody uh, what you do <laughs> how you will describe it and then we can talk uh, for instance about about the chronology of of events so how how would it all led to uh, where are you right now but maybe it's good for at least for listeners who doesn't know you if you try to define um what kind of stuff are you doing as as a sound collective and 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 how it translates to uh, an outcome. I don't know. That um, a core challenge. Uh, Ludwig, do you want it? Not, I'm... Yeah, by the way, we should maybe say yeah, why exactly. Ludwig doesn't have a picture now. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
They are. I'm speaking from. <laughs> uh, yes. Well, when when I try to explain to my friends um, what is uh, our project, I uh, sometimes use the term "internet band." <laughs> nice one. <laughs> because it's quite uh, pragmatic, and uh, yeah. they understand immediately. And before the pandemic, everyone was like, oh, that's weird. This is, uh, I cannot imagine how is this working. And now I, several guys say, wow, cool, that's nice. <laughs> so um, uh, in this way, we are really uh, an avant-garde project. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, in terms of uh, making music together, it's always the question of uh, how can you jam on internet? So yeah. Uh, and the the good thing to do like experimental music that it's uh, not so strict in terms of, of uh, timing and um, we can communicate uh, also in this way uh, yeah it's it's working it's uh, yeah yeah for me always music is about organizing sound no? so the definition is really just organizing sound and, and in this way uh, each of us has ha, each of us has its own way of organizing the sound, no? And and we come from all the, those different backgrounds, and then Warren is the result of all these backgrounds, and you can really hear it when you listen to it, because you can hear this uh, more sound-based music, no? That Arzu provides, or this more drone stuff that Tiago does, Ludwig with his electronic uh, instruments, no playing along. And me, I don't know, doing electronic <laughs> stuff as well. <laughs> <laughs> but it, um, and also it's interesting. I don't know if you wanted to say anything. Idea yeah, cut? No. Anyway, um, it's interesting to to mention also that um, that okay, internet band. I like that. Uh, it sounds great. And I'm thinking, for instance, the period uh, that I I guess it was the founding moment of of this collective. It was om almost three years ago. Uh, you left summer camp at a point and you met physically one year later. Um, as, and as far as I know, during um, that period of time that elapsed, that was a whole year because you met back again on summer. Because I know because I was there also. <laughs> 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 I, I'm not spying you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I'm wondering how you, how you kept... Um, I don't know how 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 you set it up to to end up doing <laughs> the Fulgarola sessions, which is one of the first projects you develop as a, a series of recordings done in a specific place in Mataró, uh, in Barcelona. How how that led to 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 that uh, first um, I don't know work of yours. I think I think when we started we, we when we started the collective, we just wanted to do things. And I don't think we had in mind that, okay, let's do this so then we can do an album or go to a place and do something. We just wanted, we, we, we really just wanted to do mm -hmm. something together. And, and we tried, let's just try with the tools we have. And I, I think in the beginning, we started with um, some, some so we had a, a process that was mainly like with this uh, form of, creating called, you know, like exquisite corps, mm -hmm. you know, where you just, so each of us would have an idea, we would have an idea, a general idea, mm -hmm. and then someone just starts in one place and we share files. Mm -hmm. we, we are now gr great to have, uh, in having like an organization <laughs> for the internet too. That's, mm -hmm. that's essential in a way here. Mm -hmm. And so we would just, for example, Joanne would start something and then Arzu would take it from there and then Ludwig and then me. Mm -hmm. And so it would, yeah, and then we would just um, always add, add, add. And it, sometimes it comes to a point where, and then, I th and then I think that's the great thing also here and that, that is working is that we respect a lot what each of us do and, and we, we trust we, we usually don't get so complicated. We just, if somebody says, well, you can finish that track for us, or we kind of trust very well what each of us wants to do. And that, I think that helps a lot too. And then later it becomes, um, yeah, I think that format was essentially important. And maybe 
we felt the need to join. Let's try to now join and, and, and see what, what comes from there that is different. Yeah, yeah so, but I so, think the... Oh, go, 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 go. No, no. Um, yeah, the important aspect for me at least was that we that it was that it is also still very playful. So mm -hmm. yeah. that it's just like, let's just try this, you know, whatever comes out of it and like giving each other is this also something that we continue then sort of like just tiny little tasks or exercises or like the one that John was mentioning before with uh, recording our lives. We also did an exercise along those lines where we, for example, stood at the same time in various places in our city and pressed rec at the same time. So it was like, mm, you know, yes. kind mm -hmm. of, you know, calling or saying, like, okay, now and, <laughs> and then just record for two minutes, five minutes, and then just layering those tracks and see what, what happens with it. Or <clears throat> um, like, for example, uh, I have a friend uh, back then, she was my roommate, uh, Maud Marik, who Big shout out to her and her great poetry she's uh, writing very very beautiful so like one thing that was for example i would just say like guys do you want to do a sound poem for example and i would mm -hmm. just suggest that those words and maybe give a track to it and collaborated also with uh, sound artist and voice artist rebecca glover also big thanks to her <laughs> to like mm -hmm. record the the poem and then they would just take it and everybody would do their own thing and in the end, we would have like the pieces called Canary Alien all there in the sky. So it's you can listen to that. Mm. So like these kinds of things would, would be very, very important. So just like tiny ideas and then yeah. you spin it out from there. And sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't. Most of them work. So I mm. think that's that's mostly how it worked. worked. And, and, and everything comes from from, a, I guess, a playful um way of things seeing this kind of of collaboration i guess no that just just do yeah. it as, as a as a simple i don't know even to train your muscles at some point that yeah. by the end as soon as you know uh, yourselves uh, better and better it, it's get, it gets easier right mm -hmm. I yeah, I, I, and, oh, sorry. Go. no I, I was just going to add to that i think for me as well like like joan was saying that this, this it's this thing that we we also have that we are, we just go with our lives and suddenly like, yeah, we still have war and truth. For me, I also, I, I also feel like it's like a playground. Yeah. It's um, like yeah. a, mm -hmm. a nice playground. I think it's a little bit like a mirror to summer camp, what it was as well. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a place where you just meet people that you kind of relate very well in the things you do and think and the way you think. And then suddenly you're just trying things and experimenting things. But, and at the same time, we, we just the enough seriousness. Mm -hmm. uh, but with a lot of space to just create and, mm -hmm. and test. And, yeah, and I think the important thing also is that it, there is no end vision to that. So there is not really like a manner that it's supposed to be in the end or like we're not trying to, I guess that ties in a little bit to your question of like, could you describe what you do? Is yeah. like, yeah, I mean, we do at the moment. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it do, might like, change tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it could uh -huh. change, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, like, ex I guess, Im improvised experimental music and sounds yeah. in a digital format at this mm -hmm. point. But yeah. that is super organic. So it's mm -hmm. like uh, a very nice kind of sculptural way of working, I guess, yeah. in that sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so there is no restrictions and there is no vision that we are trying to fulfill from each and one of us. It's always our contributions that make a vision in the end. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Exactly. And some ideas, no, that that might come out now. Now, for example, we have this idea of because we started to to jam through Jamulus and we realize it's doable. We can we can actually jam and mm -hmm. and yeah. so we are doing it a weekly thing and 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 this idea of jamming with the sound of the glitching when the <laughs> Or the audio doesn't work, you know, yeah. and yeah. only limiting ourselves to that sound so that actually <laughs> if it glitches or it doesn't glitch, it sounds the same, you know, mm -hmm. that's that's that, that's just a trigger to say, OK, let's improvise with this idea. And then we have a track, whatever, 10 minutes, 15, whatever, of, of playing around with this idea. No? How beautiful is experimental music that you can just, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> just put it all play. under the tag <laughs> and just follow it. Exactly. Don't worry yeah. about BBN. You're, are you listening to these guys? I'm, I'm referring to to our viewers. They are. They, we have a, a ton of techno fanatics here and they are constantly completely obsessed by timing and midi clocks and and bpms and these guys are they don't care about that <laughs> which is interesting maybe it's it's time for to listen to something um 
they are laughing on the chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you guys wanna? Um, we have the bugs on bird to birds. It's maybe the first track we could listen. Uh, yeah, that's a Fugarola's one. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to give some details uh, prior to the listening, or we talk afterwards? I don't care. It's a fragment, yeah. as far as I'm concerned. Or um, after. I don't mind. It's up to you. Well, after, after. Okay, okay. No spoilers. Okay, so let's listen to Bugs to Birds. Uh, this track, it's um, it's online in your Bandcamp page, which uh, I, I already shared. Uh, the full piece. but And we are going to listen a two-minute uh, extract, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we can talk about it. Okay. Mm, there we go. And we are back. So that was a pretty intense uh, extract. The piece is nine minutes, uh, almost ten minutes long. The the original one, and it's called "Bugs to Birds," and you can find it on the on the Bandcamp page uh, Fugarola Sessions. So tell me about that. What happened there? Um, <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I remember. Actually, that's one of my favorite pieces. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I remember that one very well because it was also one of these moments where we were like, I think two days in, in um, improvising and working on the album yeah. where, we, where we just were thinking, okay, let's add some new tasks in there. And then one of the ideas was to tell sort of a story without being too literal. Mm -hmm. But the, I, like, the challenge was actually what the title is. And I feel, for me at least, it works really well during the track. So we start with books like underground all that kind of stuff and then we go into birds and we descend into the air and um it was a very nice kind of journey to do through the improvisation as well because you'd have that idea at the back of your mind and you choose accordingly and but within that whatever like within that space anything can happen mm -hmm. and you just are super bound to coincidences as well because you didn't know like we didn't know what each one of us are going to do. We just knew, okay, we're all going to follow that yeah. kind of narrative arch. But it can be anything in that. And I felt that very exciting, actually. Yeah. And um, making sense as we go. And yeah, so that was sort of like one of the exercises that we then um, created for, for ourselves during improvisation. Yeah. I think the exercise also uh, had the idea of... Um, finding uh, new vocabulary or coming to because before i think it was on the second day or something and we we our first sessions were all like little 
little creepy, little dark, you know, this uh, <laughs> experimental phenomenon coming coming from, uh, you see always like something like an alien before your eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the idea was just to get to get a little, uh, yeah, other ideas, other movements, other uh, motives of Mood. language. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. We should maybe explain uh, yeah, yeah. how those days work, no? Because it's yes. interesting. Well, yes. Uh, set up, so set up the, the yeah, whole thing. The, the, Context, please. <laughs> Context. Context so is. We are in a hot summer day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> go on, go on. No, 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 no. You go. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, so, uh, so we did it in Fugarolas. That's why it's called Fugarolas Sessions. Fugarolas is a an old factory, an old car factory repair shop where uh, in my city in Mataró, uh, which is uh, 30 kilometers from Barcelona. And, and it's, a, it's a, yeah, a former car shop that we, that we rented like in 2014 with uh, different collectives of the, of the city to try to promote uh, culture, art, and, and to have a, a place to work, essentially. It's a, it's a three-story factory. It's quite big. It has a huge garden where all the neighbors of the, yeah, the, the, the neighborhood can go in and, and do their um, orders urbans. <laughs> um, yeah, urban orchards. Orchards? Yes. Orchards? Yeah, I think it's called like that. Hmm. Okay. So so that people can do, can do that and it's essentially it's a, a place where a lot of uh, synergies happen and, and there's lots of exchanging no we started with four different collectives it was uh, i was in an audio visual collective there was a circus collective there was a metal workshop and mm -hmm. there were some people that work with uh, people with disabilities mm -hmm. so that's that's really broad and and now it's like 27 28 collectives all all joining and all merging inside that no mm -hmm. and one of these collectives that started there is that when we realized that in the factory we had lots of musicians we we made a band and mm -hmm. and, and and that band um it was a very beautiful thing no because lots of people from everywhere came and and we just played music together mm -hmm. and the band of course we created this uh this space to play around and the space is the, the space that we that we open for everybody that wants to do music in the city. You know? mm -hmm. So it was it was very easy for us to say, yeah, where well, we want to go, uh, and we just came came here. They they slept in the factory that we have also a place to sleep, mm -hmm. and and we could create. And so th this was a five day five day period of creation where where we essentially yeah uh, every morning woke up played and then stopped in the, in the end of the day and went to sleep. No? Mm -hmm. Essentially, that was our day to day. And it was all impro. It was all, ah, yeah, and played ping pong, definitely. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, and, and it was all impro. So, so there's, there was no planning. The only planning was just, yeah, keep, keep doing. And, and as Ludwig was saying, the first ones, they were maybe longer. We played, you know, whatever, half an hour of impro. And then we always record everything and then relax a bit and then another and then another and then after a while it was like okay how how else no how else what can we uh, uh, engage and then this these different patterns of okay let's try to go from back to back and, and that thing happens and yeah it's like it, it, you you went through a like um a natural process of adaptation yeah you maybe you down there you went to for the, the most basic thing okay let's just play let's know each other yeah. musically or sonically and then you kind of kind of uh, then find ways to challenge yourselves, I guess. And and then it it it, it all became um, um, a system for you guys, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I I think uh, I remember. I think there was a, a key point there too. I think in the beginning it was like that. We were just there trying to figure out and and, and knowing each other too physically and sonically too, and trying to see which thing works or yeah just just jamming and then there was a, also a, an interesting point that when when we went to uh, have some lunch and i think it was ludwig that brought something like we should try to be for example more aggressive <laughs> uh with each other and i think what he meant also, also was that we were kind of a little bit of shy hmm. that's why maybe a little bit of the dark thing because sometimes it can be 
easy also to just stay on that tone mm. and and if one goes in that tone maybe the other ones would follow as well so we try from after that lunch just to like be rebels between each other and, and not respect so much what mm. what each other w- was going to do but at the same time uh, trying to respect the piece sonically as well and i think that was interesting to unlock uh, also or, or or freedom in in our small circle mm. and then also the exercises yeah it was a consequence I, I guess a little bit of that too it's like okay now that we are on the same space even sonically and and we work when we can do it uh, respecting each other let's try to gain some orientation here and 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 also experiment. We experiment a lot. We we were always coming with exercises and exercises. And let's try, like let's try now do some pans between each other. Now let's try like do groups between ours when Joanne and mm. me and Ludwig. And then let's try to just work on from high frequencies to lower and then mids. And mm-hmm. yeah, it was super fun on that. It was so it and it was so intense and fun that. I mean, it was super hot and nice city and even with the beach on, on the side and we never went to the beach <laughs> and we just went out just to do this exercise of let's go out now for one hour and 30 record things <laughs> and, then, and then we went, come to, the back. Beach, but we went to the beach to record. <laughs> and then, exactly. Yeah. And then you come How back. How big is that? You all came back to your rainy countries. Jesus yeah, or Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, Ludwig was the only one that's... He he, he he took time to go to the to have <laughs> night in swings. In the night, it's, been, <laughs> it's it's one. It's always been the clever of the four. Yes. <laughs> yes uh, the Again. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, maybe we can listen to another track um, about this. Uh, precise moment then we can um, maybe jump to what it led afterwards to it. But but. That was the context. Is um, you spend um, a period of time there. You work intensively as a kind of um, a way to finding yourself. And then, of course, you had the the idea of continuing as a as a collective mm, remotely because that that's uh, one of the main features about you guys. And the other one is this 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 long term um, target of meeting again at some point and doing things uh, together, but not essentially, as far as I understand. If it's possible, yes, but if not, <laughs> you keep it like that, right? It will. Yeah, yeah, but it will be possible. How about you, for sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so maybe we can listen to the next one. It's, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Why do yeah, you put Ludwig, those complicated names, you? for Christ's sake? Just try, <laughs> huh? to, just try to... Valps. <laughs> W-A-W-Z. Uh, it's also uh, an extract from from uh, full fugarolas yeah. it's in the fulgarolas but it's fugarolas fugarolas uh, um it's the second track it's an extract from the original track it's 11 minutes uh, and you can also listen it on on the band cam and um, we're going to listen to it uh, right now i would just maybe sorry yeah go go can i mm-hmm. yeah, sure. no no uh, actually that one is the one we we said to ourselves let's just go out a little bit of this basement and get some air and see the city and get inspired by it and and record something and then go back and just without speaking just each of us with our sounds recorded we just start doing something cool okay so with that in mind let's go for it
there we go. So, um, yeah, that was um, W-A-W-Z, the titles uh, you don't agree on <laughs> with each other. <laughs> um, a lot of field recordings there. I'm guessing that you finally left that basement and, and went out to the streets and and get some, some bath, right? Yes. Uh -huh. There is one thing that um, it's important to remark about about you guys is that even your process is not the regular one. You are not the <laughs> the typical internet band, nor either the typical band at all. And also your um, set of skills is pretty weird also. I mean, sorry guys, but um, <laughs> each of you is like working in different fields. Maybe it's, it's the moment to, I don't know if to mm, uh, say a little bit each of you guys, um, what is your instrument or your I don't, physical or, or conceptual? I don't care about that. But it's important to, because as far as we have been listening, we have been listening to field recordings, to some electronics, and it's difficult if you don't know you guys um, to, to grasp who's doing what and how this all combines together. I think it's pretty much electronic uh, at some point. Um, and this is always difficult because it requires a, a level of knowing and understanding because... Um, if you play a conventional instrument like Juan, um, you know how it sounds. But in electronics, you you can get lost track of it. You have to focus on other things. How how these things work on, or who is doing what? <laughs> there you go. Who wants to start? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> but it it might change, Juan. If you point out something <laughs> in, in, in your screen, it doesn't look like in the other ones. <laughs> Ah, I didn't know. <laughs> no, no, no. In, in my place, who points it speaks. So, no, no, uh, not here. <laughs> okay, then I go. Um, so I, I'm, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trained um, like instrumentally. Like I, I played uh, violin as a child, and then percussion is my main instrument, and vibraphone is the the mainest of all percussions that I play. But I. But I stopped uh, all that path uh, when I was 25 or so, and I studied composition there. And then from then I went to electronics and so on. So my back, my background is that, and yeah, whatever comes after <laughs> is what I do. No? So I, I do in in Warren in this in this album. There are some tracks that I play some sort of percussion. I think there, there's a couple that we said, okay, let's try. But generally I, I play the laptop, yeah. Next. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. yeah. Go. yeah, my my background is, uh, I, my background is on design and visual design. And then I always loved music, started to do music, just electronic through Fruity Loops and EJ, and then I, I transitioned to Ableton, and in the beginning more in like conventional electronic music, and then I started get interest like 10 years ago in experimental, and on a side doing graphic and motion, I, I started to do, transit, to do a transition to more field recordings recently, and, mm. and trying to use the field recordings and work around our space and the perception of our acoustics and just try to do pieces uh, always just with field recordings in a way that sometimes you don't understand if it's field or or just electronic VSTs or mm -hmm. like conventional instruments uh, mm -hmm. but with manipulation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But mainly computer, it's my instrument. Um, yeah, I do like sound design often and sound art, I guess, in the installation way. So I bring in a lot of uh, all kinds of instruments. Mm, but I used to play violin as well, actually, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> long ago. So <laughs> yeah, I have like a musical uh, background too, but not trained in conservatory uh, because then I continued doing film. So I have an animation film background, actually. And uh, now I'm doing sound design for animation and um, yeah, composition in a more expert, like abstract way. So it's not very musical, I don't think, what I'm doing, but I work with recording and also computer, but then also with objects. 
that just seem fit um, to sort of, I guess, manipulate life. Mm -hmm. But it's all like, I don't know, experimenting still. Mm. Um, but that's my background. Cool. And Ludwig, are you there? <laughs> yes, uh, I'm here. Um, I'm also working with objects mainly. Uh, so my background is uh, more f uh, haptical. I, I don't use the computer so much. Um, I, I try to, to build up little instruments and um, manipulate them and pick up, use different forms of pickups and uh, effects or since a year I'm also using uh, like a like a modular synth to, to manipulate the sounds and um, yeah so I'm coming from uh, music making music instrument making and uh, uh, yeah try to get um, to other sound levels by using electronics but mm, with a stress on analog uh, techniques so I don't hmm. I don't want to to use so much don't to, I don't like to have so much control so there's also a big random factor hmm. um, yeah, maybe you can hear that also on the album sometime. <laughs> from time to time, from time to time, you can hear Ludwig's. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 curious. And on the chat, Miele is saying that I used to meet a lot of people who are or were designers, uh, and afterwards they jump to sound art uh, on on uh, on remarks. Uh, it seems to be a, a common step for someone. I think it's it, it's the the possibility of of uh, more or less freedom to do whatever you feel like it. That is an easy step into. And he's also mentioning Albanotto as one of of like a visual yeah. background guy who just went off to sound, which is a good, yeah. a good one. I I guess you you might have the feeling that you can find in here in what you do now. Um, a, cer a certain level of freedom and, and playfulness, as you said before, than uh, in in other in other languages that you will be more constrained and things like what you do wouldn't make wouldn't be impossible if you were super strict to a a musical language, a conventional music language, mm. I guess. Yeah, but also like sound in general, just is such a multisensory experience. Like it doesn't, it never only is through the ears <laughs> so yeah. mm -hmm. like i think that's why a lot of not just visual backgrounds but people who have i don't know a sculpting background okay can maybe be visual as well mm. or an engineering or like even a scientific background they just feel drawn to doing sound art because it's it's yeah it's a multi-sensory discipline actually mm. so yeah, and also you can access access it from from any point um, and, and any input, uh, so it doesn't matter in that sense. Um, so, um, okay, timing. Um, so after uh, Fugarola sessions, um, that was uh, two years ago. Yes. Yep. Um, you kept on doing this. Usually, this kind of project just kind of bleh, <laughs> you know <laughs> melt down after some point but you are on still on uh, what happened afterwards what happened afterwards uh -huh. uh, we, we tried yeah, yeah. which do you mean about the we do the the things we did there in mm -hmm. Mataro? yeah no, well, I mean, I mean, you you did All that. Projects, no? We are not going to talk about the, the what happened finally with Fulgarola, but but I mean, you have kept working and and playing um, between you guys and and how how that where is leading that now? Okay. More. Uh, we sorted out basically the album. I mean, that's that was the next step, and then there was another sound poem that actually we're going to release today. Oh. The, mm -hmm. Ooh, the last one, yes. the last track. Right now, we're gonna release yeah. it right now. <laughs> no. Premiere. Like, yes. Uh, it's also another poem from Maud Marik. Uh, it's called Those Who, and that was our next bigger project. And then uh, we did that, and that was also a lot of fun. So that that final track is is what you have uh, is completely new. <laughs> That's completely new. Yes, Ooh, nice. very unheard. Yeah. So we keep it for the end, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep it for the end. Mm -hmm. Those who, yeah. Those who, and then we were cooking up some new ideas. Some sorry. 
new ideas. Yeah. Yes. Elaborate. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. no, I give it to somebody else. <laughs> to... <laughs> uh, For me, the most sparkling idea is to have a big jam session on Tiago's terrace in August. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this would be, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, best perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, I've, I've, I noticed that in the other day that actually the pandemic for in the last month, because sometimes we also try to do some applications mm -hmm. to different uh, things like uh, some funds or uh, not fund, how do you say it? Like, yeah, funding and residence. Fund funding, yes, so residence. Mm -hmm. and, we have a few applications in the loop, yeah. Yeah. And... Um, and it, it's interesting because while, when we were trying to to do those applications, and we, we start talking more and even discussing what does it, this mean with the, the the distance and the internet, uh, because now it's more rel relevant than ever. And it, it's interesting that we started to speak much more than before as well, like almost one 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 day of the week, a week, one time a, a week. So jamming, it's it's our next thing now. It's trying to to because we tried like two years ago, one one year ago, but things weren't so great. And I think now with the pandemic, mm -hmm. also even the, the the software, they they try to to make it much better now. And mm -hmm. we did a test like two weeks ago or one week ago. It worked nice. We're I'm sure we're gonna want to try jam. But also more than ever, you want to meet again. And yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And when we are maybe thinking. Yeah, why not here in, in Porto next time? Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's this: it's applications jamming online. Next, trying to meet again and go to the beach this time. And, <laughs> Spend uh, more time out. <laughs> do less recordings. <laughs> yeah. No, and, yeah. and try and trying to pursue these ideas that we that we have. No, that like like we have also this idea of a of a of a jam marathon. Where we where we record um, each um, each each uh, how to say uh, each thirty minutes on a on a cassette tape, uh -huh. and then the next thirty minutes on a different cassette tape. So that the the piece is actually never completed because it's only recorded in in that single one. No, so and, and to do a limited edition of this jam that is puzzled and it will never. Um, Mm. come back again no for example this is something that stimulates us and, and also the idea of, of of the marathon aspect of it no of, mm. of playing and playing and playing and seeing when where these ideas develop mm -hmm. so that's that's what that we have on the back for when we can when we can meet, meet yeah. mm -hmm. that then we then we have this one that we are that we just submitted about uh, gifting and shifting or shifting and gifting i don't know the order of <laughs> of the mm. of the wording mm -hmm. but shifting shifting gifting um where where we build uh instruments uh in a um, small instruments and we um send them to each other but they are small self-played instruments that that have to produce sound on its own uh -huh. and we record the journey from from where <laughs> from the postman to the other <laughs> house no mm -hmm. so that that all this noise that it happens it just gets recorded and and then uh jammed uh -huh. well, nice and for example, that's something that we are we are working on. We just uh, applied for this resi for this funding to do this, but we'll do it anyway. So yeah. so this uh, it's something <laughs> that's gonna don't happen. Say that. You hear that? Funding institute will do it anyway. We don't care about your money. <laughs> no, it's true. No, but please give us the money. <laughs> money will be great, but. No, and about I, I yeah. wanted to comment. Sorry, I know, uh, what's more, what more? Uh, I wanted to comment on, on your on your. You kept going, no? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because it honestly is is a bit like, well, like anyone can imagine. It's not it's not easy always, no. Like no. when you yeah. you have a busy life and and so on. So of course we go phases that we are more engaged or phases that is like, I don't know if I can do this project right now because I have so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but this is part of the beauty that now we've come into a. In, in, to, in peace with that, I think, and that's, mm. a, that, that's a change on the group, that we accept that we all have lives and that, yeah. and therefore we do when we can, no? And, exactly. and that's very... It's there and when, when it's, it, 
it comes alive and all the things um, match together, then it happens. If not, it's going to happen later on. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. The secret is to stay annoying, you know, with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be like, and now? I, I'm going to write that down. The secret is to stay annoying. <laughs> to be uh, obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, just be like, what about now? What about now? <laughs> I'm guessing, Arzu, you have a role in that. <laughs> or or it, it's a shared thing. But a good, a good annoying. I, 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 yeah. I think I told you many times because uh, people listening um, may not know, but... Uh, we I have been talking with you extensively about your project and how it could um, uh, formalize at some point, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I've been saying this to you like many times. I think uh, one of the most interesting things about your project is the process itself. Um, I'm not saying that your music is shit, which is not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that sometimes um, the, the mere act of uh, explaining it before you mention it, that 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 uh, action you did, in which you each of you recorded at the same time from different locations, which is pretty much analog or something you would do um, well, a decade ago, for instance, when or two decades ago, when when for instance GPS signal and all the GPS um, um, data was available, that started burst uh, an art form devoted to um, you do things with coordinates then afterward it didn't make any sense because for, i for instance had a problem um, an idea of a project in 2002 about uh, being myself available online constantly where was where i was and i thought it was really cool and afterwards it's like okay <laughs> we, so we all just have a cell phone <laughs> who's doing that right now no yeah. but but this kind of 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 playfulness of doing okay we're gonna do a, rec a remote recording each of from our cities sometimes i don't know if the outcome it was it was compelling interesting or challenging but the mere fact of doing it and saying that you've done that for me it's already interesting as a piece itself and and a lot of your processes are are I I I, I, su I suppose that the the you assume failure constantly as as your workflow, but sometimes it, it doesn't even matter because you already succeed by just doing it. Um, I don't know if if it makes sense that. So it's fun. It's fun for sure. Yeah. 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 I mean, the doing it's it's fun itself. Yeah. It, it, sometimes I, I I speak for myself. Sometimes I just don't. I don't. I don't go back and, and listen what we did. I mean, I do it like time to time, mm -hmm. but usually it's because I have to. And <laughs> <laughs> but I make you to do it. <laughs> no. Yeah, but it, it, it's, it's true. It's uh, we, we do it. We have fun. We get conclusions. We, we try to we decide if it's good enough in our own metrics of good mm -hmm. and and. And then we release it, and we then we think about the next thing to do. Yeah. Mm. But but I mean, it varies also from uh, work to work, I guess. I think because, for example, in the sound poems, the outcome is the main thing, mm. and the conceptual idea behind it is uh, quite like it's not very experimental if you think about it. It's a text mm -hmm. spoken that is kind of let's say uh, complemented with a sound composition. So the main purpose there is that, but yeah, with the experiments on, for example, the recording one or the improvisation sessions, the outcome is the process really. And um, we tend to like not airbrush it in a way that it's then like made up to be, you know, whatever fancy thing it is, but just stay too pure with the experiment that it is. So the conceptual approach mm. is quite important there. Um, so I would say it varies um, definitely um, from from work to work that we do, and I think this will also stay like that for um, all the future projects. Like the yeah, the the approach to it will be different, hmm. and according to that, the expectations for the result as well. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes total sense. So, um, and finally, um, the only thing, and I, and I can do this on screen because we don't care about it. Uh, we are, as I told you off screen before, uh, here on the channel, we are uh, working. Uh, the guys are, are right now testing how, how this system, um, this uh, MIDI clock system, server MIDI clock system, to for, they, they are trying it now for techno. 
but um, and you are also trying a, a software that it gave you more or less interesting results so the the proposal here is that uh, if you want this channel is yours to do <laughs> whatever you feel like it to it um mm -hmm. i really love the idea of the marathon thing because for instance in on streaming it's really it's really interesting to work on things like that and uh, you know that mm -hmm. this this space we are this language uh, we are using this media um it's anti anti internet time because it's it's not about um, being super fast it's the other way around is to do things as slowly and as long as possible um <laughs> which is something i really uh, is why i'm <laughs> one of the reasons i'm doing twitch right now because it allows you to do that this kind of stuff so um this is uh, it, it's just an idea to throw you in uh i guess my my colleagues are are fine with it perfectly fine um <laughs> if not i don't care angry faces Be coming to you <laughs> <laughs> no Stop i i talking. I don't, <laughs> chat is quiet, so they are quiet and uh, nothing in their head. Okay, they're going to do that. Um, no, but the thing is that if you if you feel like going live on, on any of your future projects in this kind of format, uh, this is your house. Um, because I know uh, you guys don't know, listeners, but uh, at some point the full Garolas album was meant to be released in Audio Talaya. Um, I got kids, got things got complicated, <laughs> and and you end up going your way. Um, so it's a way also to to invite you because we we as a channel want to explore that avenue also to see how we can use this channel uh, instead of having more people doing things in Twitch. Uh, we are trying to concentrate a community of, of, of workers here. Um, ah, they, 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 in the chat they are saying, yeah, yeah, we are here and we are nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool, yeah. cool. So, I don't know, you can think about it. <laughs> Let's do it now. No, not right now, because I have to do lunch. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> But but yeah, it will be it will it will be great if you would like. In any case, um, I don't know you guys if you want to add anything else. But uh, we are running out of time. Um, mm -hmm. I don't thanks know. Thanks for the invitation and thanks for that as well. Yeah, yeah. and stay tuned for more to come. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Please check. Um, you, I, I already shared the links uh, to your project. Uh, I can share your site so far. And you can check their their updates on 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 well on all their progress, and um, and you know people listening that you can also um, watch that on 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 YouTube. It's gonna be uploaded and also on podcast. Um, I don't know. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ludwig, Garzu, Tiago, and Joan. It's been a pleasure again because this is the second time we try that, and I think this time we succeeded. <laughs> Um, thank you very much right. for being here and keep keep up this amazing work you do. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Ciao. Okay. So, so we are back. Surprise. <laughs> um, no. The question is that I forgot to um, to mention that we will premiere that that track of yours, uh, titled uh, "Those Who." So that's why we are back, um, and that's like a bonus track. <laughs> so don't go away, people from the chat. Uh, we're gonna play the the last ad and then and then we close the stream. I don't know if you want to add uh, anything about this uh, "Those Who" piece. Um, yeah, thank you, Mod. <laughs> thank you. 
And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's the fair world release. It's uh, thousands of people watching this right now. So <laughs> you're going to get a lot of viewers. Uh, anyway, uh, that's your la latest project by Warren Sound Collective. It's called Those Who. And uh, with this, now we say goodbye to you all. Thank you very much. Finally. <laughs> adios, adios. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. I'm searching for people who read time schedules of buses to not get bored in the morning. Those who see the wind in colors. Those who stand up in the Eurostar like an asshole. Those who draw with their fingers on the fridge of your favorite night shop. Those who like to play Scrabble, scoring only for single points. Those who don't walk straight until the rise of the day. Those who bike under the snow with no helmet, mostly in dubious surroundings. Those who sail to sea with precious gemstones in their mouth so they don't vomit. You know the people who systematically aim beside the moon? Those who mm. 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 Ouch. Okay. People who kiss without protection. I'm searching for people who use time schedules of buses to not get bored in the morning. We don't walk straight until the day rises. rest fools. Well, in the end, I guess, I would like to be with them just a bit more often.
Pues eso era todo. Esa ha sido la conversación con, con Warren, este colectivo de artistas y creadores que eh, llevan desde 2018, antes de la pandemia incluso, trabajando con... colaborando y haciendo música y haciendo sonido. Y que se formó el, el, el colectivo de estos cuatro artistas en el Audio Talaya Summer Camp. Y nada, con eso acabamos la emisión de hoy. Eh, recordaros que mañana a las 11 tenemos eh, Nubol de Fum, el jueves a las 7 tenemos Dentro del Círculo y el viernes a las 7 tenemos 4, 16, 32. Eh, y la semana que viene volvemos otra vez a la carga. La semana que viene no hay audio talaya extra, pero si no me equivoco eh, hay, tenemos eh, Slow Gallery, si no estoy equivocado. A ver, lo comprobamos. Sí, efectivamente, el 27 tenemos Slow Gallery, que lo voy a dedicar a grabaciones de campo de lluvia. Y poco más, eh, acordaros de suscribir. Ya sabéis que esto va a estar en podcast eh, enseguida, estará disponible en Twitch y además eh, lo subiremos a YouTube eh, enseguida que podamos. Así que nada, eh, espero que os haya gustado y que tengáis una buena tarde. Venga, chao, chao.